guys on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model this circular hollow section column splice connection using Revit so let's get started let's open our Revit application raise new model browse for the structural template use US metric open then click OK first let's set our elevation view here create new level then change the elevation let's change this to 4 meters or 4000 millimeters and this to 9000 millimeters for that let's go to level 1 red green Change the grid name here. Okay. Then after that, let's check our elevation view here. Then go to level one. Create a column here. Actual column. Let's load family, library, US metric, then let's go to structural columns, still, then AIS SC 14.1, go to pipe column, open, assume a diameter of 21.9 cm or pipe then edit the placement of our column height connect to level 2 then ok let's change our detail line to find then next go to level 2 then load the structural column here then change it okay to level 3 then click okay is also the detail line here to find go to north elevation so we already created our column here next go to connection the down arrow here click it okay let's load our connection here all our connections click all then add then ok so that click our collection click the columns here then right click finish selection let's choose our connection here go to end to end connection Change our detail line. Fine. It. Okay. Then go to edit type. Edit. Here. We are going to modify our splicing connection. Okay. Let's change our plate shape here to round. Then place thickness, the plate thickness. See, it is 20 mm. Dimension. So let's change the dimension of our pricing here to 350. Or 400. So it depends on the design. Okay, try again 500. Okay. Let's go to bolt. 
Let's change our bulb to 7, 8. Okay. Bulb grade. Okay. Upper bulb. So let's change the distance here to 80. Number of bolt. Let's check it. So number of bolt will be six. Okay. Nine bolt. Leave it here. Well, six. Stiffener. Stiffener one here. Let our stiffener be eight. Then let's change the stiffener height. To 250. Then our width of bottom to 200 or 150. Let's try again to 130 here. Then let's change our width at top. Let's make it 30. Then here at the wrap. The bottom graph, let's say 50. Let's change the corner size to 25. It's great. After that, stiffener too. So let's say it is the same as the bottom here. Then go to ring plate. Let's create a ring plate here. Okay. Create tube one. Then let's change distance to 50 or 300 and the thickness to 50 or 20, you can say. Okay. Okay. Then click OK. Then OK. So this for our column here, rising column, let's change our visual style here, go to 3D, then change our detail line to find, then to consistent color, okay, so this is our splicing here, so that's it. This is for this tutorial. Thank you.